My name is Larry Temple. I currently serve as the chairman of the Lyndon Baines Johnson Foundation. Uh, I had the great and good fortune in 1967 and 1968 to serve as special counsel to President Lyndon Johnson in the White House. And in that capacity, I had uh, the opportunity to come to this office. What we're looking at right now is a replica of the Oval Office in the White House. Uh, this one is 7-8 size, but uh, it is configured and furnished in just the way it was when President Johnson was here. We did not have, at the time, uh, communication through the internet uh, and electronic communication that was available to all of us. But what the President did have and what the world had uh, was ticker tape communication. Somebody at a central Associated Press location, for example, would uh, type in what the news of the moment was. What you have here uh, were AP and uh, Reuters, and the, in the cabinet down here were the actual machines that brought the news up, and the machine would uh, bring that news across this so-called ticker tape, and on a roll, it would come up on a roll until it got here, and then it would roll across, and the president would see what that uh, news was. But, as I say, the one thing that was constant about uh, LBJ was he was the most voracious consumer of news of any human being I've ever known. He wanted to know what the news was, he wanted it instantaneously, he wanted it fully, uh, and so sometimes he would be looking at this ticker tape and he would see something that was of great interest to him and it was not uncommon for him to get down on his knees and open this cabinet up and look at that uh, ticker tape just as it was coming off the roller. He wasn't going to wait for the 30 seconds for it to roll up to come across uh, the screen up here and he would get down there and watch that news as it came up. There were many uh, similar moments of history that occurred in this room. Uh, I wasn't a party to uh, most of them, but uh, I was present on one that's particularly memorable to me, and that is a uh, speech that LBJ gave to the nation on national television on March 31, 1968. Uh, that was a Sunday night, and uh, People were expecting a speech about Vietnam, and the president didn't disappoint. But then, but then there was something that uh, most people uh, uh, didn't know and uh, the American public didn't expect. Uh, the president said that uh, he did not think he should spend any of his time uh, during the rest of his term uh, in politics, that he wanted to devote his time in trying to get peace in Vietnam uh, and therefore, he would not seek and he would not accept the nomination of his party for another term. Everyone, everybody assumed that he would be running for re-election. And uh, I think that he could have gotten re-elected. He thinks he would have gotten re-elected. Uh, with all the strife that was going on in this country and the riots, it very well might have caused uh, even greater turmoil in the country. Uh, but he opted uh, not to do it, and he was seated right here at this desk. And I remember uh, Lady Bird Johnson and his two daughters were here, and other than camera people and all, it was uh, pretty much of a vacated office. As soon as he finished speaking, the uh, office filled up uh, with people. But uh, that was, for me, probably the most memorable event uh, that took place in this office during my uh, short uh, but wonderful tenure with the president.